GoForTheTwo.com. We're into week number eight of the college football season. We have some marquee matchups from top to bottom in every conference. It's going to be a great weekend of college football, so stay with us all season long. I'm going to discuss right now the preview between the USC Trojans and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Both teams are 4-2. and two. I'm going to get into that in a couple of seconds. I just want to remind everybody, this coming Friday, blogtalkradio.com, the show is called the NCAA Weekly Blitz Show. My co-host, former Georgia standout wide receiver Corey Allen, we're going to discuss the marquee matchups in the SEC this weekend. We're going to discuss the Georgia Bulldog loss to Missouri. We're also going to get into the Bulldogs Vanderbilt preview for this coming Saturday at 12 o'clock. So check that out on blogtalkradio.com Friday at 6.30 p.m., the NCAA Weekly Blitz Show. Let's discuss the USC Trojans and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Both teams looking to get back on track in the middle of the season. USC trying to get Get back on track after the firing of Lane Kiffin. Ed Ogeron, the line coach, took over last week. USC jumped out to a 28-10 lead against Arizona on Thursday night. They had a hold on for a 38-31 victory over their Pac-12 rival, but they picked up the W with interim head coach Ed Ogeron. That's a positive sign for the Trojans heading up into this matchup with Notre Dame. Another key statistic is the visitor in the series has won four straight games. So it's another positive for USC heading up into this matchup. When you look at USC on a whole, they're very balanced offensively, 207 yards per game passing, 200 yards per game rushing. So a very balanced attack out of USC. When you look at their defense, they're a little bit suspect in terms of turnover margin. Not creating a lot of turnovers in 2013. They're a minus one. They're going to have to have a better effort on the road in South Bend to get the victory over Notre Dame. They're going to have to take a page out of Oklahoma's playbook. Oklahoma forced three turnovers against Tommy Reese in that offense. They jumped out to a 14-0 lead and they held on 35-21 to over the Fighting Irish. Notre Dame does have an extra week off to prepare for this ball game, so that's a positive for Notre Dame heading up into this matchup. When you look at USC, they're vulnerable against the pass. They're giving up 233 passing yards per game, but they're very solid against the run, only giving up 107 rushing yards per game. So Notre Dame is going to have to try and throw the ball over the USC secondary. We're going to have to see if they can do that on Saturday. When you look at Notre Dame on a whole, they're only averaging 136 yards per game rushing. They're going to need a better effort, a more balanced attack than what they've been getting to beat USC. They're averaging 250 yards per game passing. Their quarterback, Tommy Reese, not having that great of a season, only completing 51.7% of his passes, 13 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. So they're going to have to get George Atkinson, the running back, involved in the, in this game. And we're going to have to see if the Fighting Irish can pull out the victory at home. But it's a good thing that they do have a week off to prepare for the USC Trojans heading up into this matchup. When you look at Notre Dame's defense, they're good against the run, only giving up 122 rushing yards per game, but they're suspect against the pass as well, giving up 252 passing yards per game. Their defense is not opportunistic. They're even in terms of turnover margin, so they're going to have to create turnovers in order to get the victory over USC. We'll see if they can do that. When you look at USC's quarterback, Cody Kessler had a very efficient performance last week, 297 passing yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. That's a positive sign as he moves into this matchup with Notre Dame. Trey Madden, he's averaging five yards per carry, 611 yards on the season and three touchdowns. So they're going to have to get Trey Madden involved in the running game as well if you're a USC Trojan fan. I'm going to have my prediction for this ball game will be up on my website, gofor2.com Thursday morning. So check that out. I think it's going to be a great matchup. I can't wait to see how these games unfold this weekend. So stay with us all season long. College football is the best and I can't wait to give it to you.